Okay, in this video, we're just looking at Blackmagic Video Assist support for the Panasonic GH7. And we've already got support for B-RAW on other cameras like the S5 Mark II, uh, the G9 Mark II, and uh, the GH6. But um, it, basically before the sort of release of the GH7, they've managed to push an update in. So it's um, update 3.15 or 3.15 that they, they've pushed in for this with support for a couple of cameras so um, you can see in here there's um, support for the uh, Lumix G7 and uh, the Fujifilm GFX 100 S2 as well so that that's good that they've managed to get this in before the camera really has been sort of in mainstream release um, I don't know if anybody sort of got their got their pre-orders yet but I think most of them are supposed to be coming sort of the later half of this month I'll be interested to know if anyone's actually got theirs yet but um, you know it's good that Black Manage Magic have managed to do that so good news for anybody that actually did want to shoot b-roll on the uh, GH7 you, you're pretty much going to be able to do that from day one so that's quite nice really and if you're kind of wondering about the, the support for it, it it's essentially um, this update is for the video assist uh, 12G. So they do two different types of um, video monitor. You've got the, the 3G, uh, which comes in a 5 inch and a 7 inch model. And you've got the 12G, which again comes in a 5 inch and a 7 inch model. And the, the one you'll want, if you do want to use Blackmagic RAW with a Lumix camera or, you know, with a GH7 or, or really most... Um, kind of uh, most of the modern integrations of, of this are essentially through this version. So you'll want to get the 12G monitor and like say even five inch or seven inch version. And you can kind of, if you're not sure about camera compatibility, there's actually a, a tech spec. It, it's basically just a tab on here. You can jump across and you can check out the tech specs for all of them. So you can see the, um, the five inch monitor and you'll be able to just have a quick run through and you can see all the Lumix cameras that are supported in there there's actually a lot of cameras and they actually go quite a long way back to be fair all the way back to um, we've got like the GH5S in there um, like I say GH6 is supported some of the newer cameras G9 Mark II, S5 II, S5 II X um, even the original S5 is in there so um, you know that there's there's pretty good wide support for um, for these monitors so if B-Roy is something you're interested in then you know recording externally through one of these monitors is essentially your only choice if, if you're using kind of a, a Lumix camera. You've got um, the new option now with the uh, GH7 for example to shoot ProRes RAW internally but if Blackmagic RAW is something that, that you want to shoot then you know like I say this this is your option really but yeah it's good that they've been really proactive in in sort of getting this actually supported and released really before the cameras in sort of the hands of a lot of people so um, that's quite good and it's just a video just to say that's kind of there so if it's something you're looking for upgrade the video assist or you know if you're looking to get a video assist I'll leave links and bits to all these things but you know you can kind of take a look and see if it's something that um that you're interested in but um yeah hopefully that's helped if it has give the video a like if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe